What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to learn how to pause our games for Pygame and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to learn how to pause our games for Pygame, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyB.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we've been sort of playing around with this little Aspen game for the last few videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pause the game using class-based object-oriented programming like we've been looking at in the last few videos. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pygame series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got the code that we worked on in the last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. And I've just renamed it Aspen Collide 3. It used to be Aspen Collide 2 in the last video, just renamed it 3. Let's come down here and in our game class, I mentioned in the last video, whenever we want to do game type things, it's almost always going to happen in this update function. So inside of this function, this might be a little weird to do it in here, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and get our keys so we can see if somebody presses something on the keyboard. So what we want to do is if the user presses P, P for paused, it pauses the game. So we know how to do this already. Let's just grab our keys and that's going to equal a pygame dot key dot get underscore pressed. And we've done this lots of times. And then let's just say if keys and which one do we want? Well, we want pygame dot K underscore P. So the K stands for keyboard and the P is the P key, right? So if they press the P key, what do we want to do? Well, let's run the self dot pause underscore game function. So obviously we don't have this yet, so we're going to have to create it. So let's come down here outside of the update function and let's just define pause game. And as always, we want to pass in self. Now, what do we want to do here? Well, we need to keep track of whether the game is paused or not, right? So let's create a variable. Let's call it is underscore paused and let's set that equal to true. So whenever they press the P key, it's going to say, hey, yes, pause it. It's true, is paused, is true. So in order to pause the game, what we're going to do is create a while loop that just keeps looping and it kind of just freezes everything while it's looping and it'll keep looping forever until we unpause the game and then the game will just keep going again, right? So uh, let's say create pause loop, right? And this is going to be a while loop. So let's go while is underscore paused and saying is underscore paused is like saying while is underscore paused equals true. It's just shorthand for doing it. We you could just say, just do it like this. And Python understands this to mean it being true, right? So while it's is paused is true. And inside of here, we want to grab our game events. So let's go for event in pygame dot event dot get. And we talked about this way back at the beginning of this playlist uh, events and things like that. Let's go if so let's go if event dot type equals pygame dot key down so if somebody presses a key while this thing is looping right and let's say what key is that well let's go if event dot key equals pygame dot k and we could do anything we want um you could do the p again right uh, i don't know i don't want to just keep doing that because if you hit the key, the P, it's going to run this again and set it to true. So we really don't want to use P to unpause it. Uh, oh, I misspelled game, I game. There we go. Instead, let's use return. And return is the enter key. Back in the day in keyboards, it used to, it used to be the return button. I even probably before that typewriters used to be the button was return and it returned the carriage to the next line. And that turned into eventually the enter button they hold true to the old school return here. So just return is the enter key on your keyboard, right? So there we go. And then let's just change this to is paused and we'll just set that equal to false, right? So here we've set it to true. And then when we hit enter, it becomes false. Now remember, as soon as is paused is no longer true, this while loop stops looping, right? So as soon as we turn it to false, the while loop stops looping and the game continues on again. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it and see if that worked. Head over to our terminal. I'm in my C games directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and let's run Python Aspen underscore collide three dot five. And here we go. If I hit my P key, everything pauses. You can see my hands. If I hit the P key again, still nothing. If I hit enter, it continues on again. 
Now, here's something interesting. Here, I'll pause it again. Let's say we paused it and then we're done. We don't want to play anymore. We come up here and we click this X. Uh-oh, nothing happens. How come? Well, because we're still paused, right? Now, if we unpause this, then we can close it, but that's really not what you want. So we can fix that inside of this loop. So we need to account for if they click the X, because here we're accounting for if they click the, the enter button, we also need to account for if they hit the X. So keeping even with this very first if statement, let's create another one. Now let's go if event.type equals pygame.quit. And remember, we talked about this way back at the beginning of this playlist as well. Pygame.quit is the equivalent of hitting the little X button, right? So when that happens, uh, well, first let's is underscore paused. Let's set that equal to false so that it kicks out of this loop. And then we can also either go, well, we can go pygame.quit. If we do that, we're going to get an error in the terminal, I think. Let's run it and see. We probably should get, a, it'll still work, but we'll get a little error. So. Let's go ahead and pause it. Now, if I come up over here and click this, it does, and we get this little error that says, you know, system not initialized. We don't really care, so that's fine. You could just leave it like that. Um, but if that bothers you for some reason, some people it will bother, <laughs> we can set running equal to false. Now, what is running? Remember down here in our game loop, we have this running and Let's see, where did we set it up? So while running, oh, it's probably up at the top here. Yep. When the game starts for the very first time, we set running to true. And then down here in our loop, this is our game loop, right? So it keeps running until you see we've done the exact same thing here way back when we wrote this first code at the beginning, right? So this won't actually work because this running and this running, these are local variables outside of all of our class stuff, right? What we can do is in our pause game, we could just set global running. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna lose your freaking minds because, oh no, a global variable. We can't have global variables. The world will end. I use global variables all the time. It's no big deal, especially when you're just doing one, right? Who cares? It's fine, right? So here, let's maybe comment uh, account for clicking the X to quit. And here, let's say account for hitting enter to unpause. Okay, so that should work. This will make this global, which means it can access this variable outside of all this class code. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. Make sure that works. So here we go. We can pause it. Now we click this. Boom, no error. It acts exactly as we expect it to. If you're one of those very, very uptight people, and I mean uptight people who just can't stand using global variables, don't do it. Instead, just do pygame.quit and deal with the error, who cares? But if you're anybody else, please believe me, one global variable isn't gonna hurt anything. So anyway, that's how to pause, super easy. That's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodobi.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodobi.com, and I'll see you in the next video.